Anita Mishra, Biani Girls College. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on transport of proteins into mitochondria. Actually what is mitochondria? Mitochondria is an organelle of eukaryotic cell. It is a semi-autonomous organelle because it contains its own DRA. So some of the proteins of mitochondria are synthesized within the mitochondria whereas some of the proteins of mitochondria are synthesized by the nuclear genome. Actually most of the proteins which are required in mitochondria are synthesized by the nucleus. So today I am going to discuss how the proteins which are synthesized by the nuclear genome are transported into the mitochondria. Okay. Now for the transport of proteins which are uh, synthesized by the nuclear genome there are three translocons, transport proteins present in the mitochondrial membrane. These are TIM, TOM and OXA. Further the TIM is of two types, TIM22 and TIM23. Actually what is TIM? TIM is the translocon of inner mitochondrial membrane. This is TIM of outer mitochondrial membrane. Now the proteins which are synthesized by the nuclear genome are synthesized in two ways. Some of the proteins with a, which, are uh, which are synthesized on the endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum. Those proteins are for the secretion. But proteins which are to be transported to the mit mitochondria are not synthesized on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. They are synthesized in the cytosol. Okay. They are synthesized in the cytosol by polysomes. What are polysomes? Polysomes are many ribosomes which are present together. Okay. So here mRNA is translating into the protein, mitochondrial protein. Okay. Now this protein which is mitochondrial protein which is to be transported to the mitochondria contains a particular sequence which is known as mitochondrial localization signal sequence. Okay. This mitochondrial localization signal sequence localizes this protein, transports this protein to the mitochondria. How this particular sequence transports this protein to the mitochondria? Because the signal sequence is recognized by the some of the receptor proteins present in the mitochondrial membrane. And by recognizing this signal sequence, they identify that this protein is present, is uh, meant for the mitochondria. Okay. So here the proteins are synthesized in the cytosol. Now these are to be transported to the mitochondria. Okay. Now first this is the TOM. Okay. TOM is the transport protein or translocon present in the outer mitochondrial membrane. This um, TOM consists of two parts. One is the receptor, okay, which recognizes the signal sequence present in the protein the protein meant for the mitochondria. The signal sequence, first this uh, signal sequence is recognized. Now, this sig when the signal sequence has been recognized, this protein has been transported through this outer membrane. Okay? Now, when this transport protein has to be transported through this channel, here ATP is utilized in this process. Here, the energy is uh, required for this process and this energy is provided by the ATP, conversion of ATP into the ADP. Now I would like to sh uh, share that these proteins which are synthesized by the polysomes present in the uh, uh, um, cytosol, when these proteins are synthesized, there are some proteins called HSP70. Okay? There are some proteins called HSP70. This HSP70 is actually the chaperon. What is chaperon? Chaperones are the particular proteins present for uh, proper folding of the proteins and proper localization of the proteins. So these HSP70 which are known as cytosolic HSP70, these are known as cytosolic HSP70. This cytosolic HSP70 bind to the protein which has been translated and which is meant for the mitochondria. This HSP70 uh, uh, localizes this protein to the mitochondrial membrane for the transport and they also help in the proper folding of the protein. Now when this protein is 
transported through this membrane this protein is then transport uh, then transported to the tim23 which is present in the inner mitochondrial membrane okay now this uh, this is the tim23 or tim22 this may be tim23 or tim22 tim22 is for the transport of proteins which are meant, meant for the matrix once the protein has been transported here some of the proteins are present in the matrix so the proteins which are present in the matrix are transported by the tim22 and those proteins which are meant for the to be present in the membrane inner mitochondrial membrane and which are multipass transmembrane proteins are transported by the tim23 okay now here another hsp70 is present okay this hsp70 is known as mitochondrial hsp70 okay once the protein has been transported to the through the tom channel and then through the tim channel these hsp70 bind to this particular protein okay for a proper folding of this particular protein and here hsp70 is also bound here okay hsp70 is also bound here and by this anti clockwise movement occurs and this anti clockwise movement help in the transport of protein through these channels in a rope like manner okay once the protein has been transported here some of the proteins which are meant for the matrix remain in the matrix but there some of the proteins which are meant for the inner mitochondrial membrane are transported through the tim23 and oxa tim23 is for transport of the multipass transmembrane proteins and oxa is for transport of proteins which are single pass okay there are some proteins which are single pass there are some proteins which are multi pass okay now this transport which occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane may occur in two ways okay once uh, one way is that once the uh, trans the transport the protein is transported first to the matrix and then transported to the inner mitochondrial membrane okay or it may occur in the way that the protein is transported from one transporter to the next transporter okay the protein is transported first to the tom then to the tim uh, uh, tim 22 and then uh, tim 23 and oxa okay so the proteins which are meant for the matrix contain only one signal sequence okay because they are recognized only one time but the proteins which are meant for the inner mitochondrial membrane contain two signal sequences first they are recognized in the outer membrane for the transport into the matrix and the other signal sequence is recognized in the inner mitochondrial membrane inner mitochondrial membrane transport proteins for the uh, insertion into the inner mitochondrial membrane okay so this is the transport of proteins which occurs in the mitochondria i may you have uh, got this idea how the proteins have transported into the mitochondria thanks for watching my video please like subscribe and comment on my video keep watching gurukb.com